it's a lot of those two losses or two. Yeah, probably, but... Eh. So I think every time I have had the start over the last two days, I got run over by steel balls. I've tried many things. Crawlers. I'm just gonna go Fang so that I can Vulcan. side to have an extra marksman. I just got turn one steel ball. Got turn one steel ball. Why am I getting turn one steel ball? Field recovery. Got rid of their sledges. I think these can be horizontal. Throw it on a sledge. Energy absorption. Okay.
bolts are fine. They get fanged. So the trick to be Steel Ball Stang <laughs> is to have your opponent be field recovering from turn one so they can't get tempo going. I don't think we win this if this is a natural Steel Ball start. Take it. Round four. Oh, was that round four? <laughs> Just a complete dismantling. Yeah, it's more you're behind the ploys. You're spending a hundred as well. Oh my god, again. Careful, they might get the opener they want, yeah. Yeah. My Steel Ball Stang is good together. Uh, Stangs are very good at clearing chaff, and Steel Balls are very good at single target. The Steel Balls also do a great job of protecting your very high damage Stangs because they stay ahead. So, like, it's hard to Vulcan because the Steel Balls are good into the Vulcan. And it's hard to protect the Vulcan with chaff because the Mustangs. Uh, I, I don't know. Fuck! Uh... I legitimately have no idea how to win. <laughs> we can... I guess Marksman, so that we can actually theoretically kill Steel Balls, maybe? Seems like a start. Uh, probably putting them both on one side. Maybe both in the middle. This way they can support either. on you place your stangs behind your balls. Usually your frontline crawlers cover the storm crawlers really well. Could have been much worse. Uh yeah, that's not wrong. Mustang's turn. If he Mustangs this turn, I lose going for crawlers to counter. And you get the cinematic camera. Oh, it's an option on the side. It's uphill from here. Yeah, I. 
Got a plan. It's a really shit plan. We lose this fight. I don't know if range is good enough for him here. It's so bad. I can't do anything with it. What am I doing? Like leveling a marksman? from hacking my rhinos, the requirement to buy a hacker. Also, the steel balls are going to not get low enough that I can probably just try to kill my rhino after it gets hacked. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. sure. That's fine. Photon. Cheeky Rhino in the flank. Something to kill Stangs. Let's double my Stangs. Let's double my Stangs.
do we want to do? Sledges are interesting, but okay. so I just want more Mustangs. This is like kind of redundancy for Hacker too. Get in the shield. Carm. saying We got tower. Kill the steel balls. We get the other tower. Okay. I mean, the shields did answer the rhinos. building him or me I don't know what that does for him EMP does nothing for him these have photon photon ignores the EMP you're amazed he chose boats 
I'm not. It's pretty natural follow up for this comp generally. It doesn't get blown up. Wouldn't hacker be better? Uh, I don't know. I I never know. Hacker's so volatile. Like the shields answered the rhinos. The problem with going hacker is that it's possible that you hack the rhino when it's on just like a sliver of HP and then the mustangs take it out anyway. You gotta like tech enhanced control. Maybe a level one hacker gets there. The rhino gets hacked, it loses photon. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, like you'd have to tech hacker and then full HP and then place a hacker for every rhino. All while he's also still getting flanked and losing his tower every fight. Did not not get that debris. Yeah, you get it, it just adds cost. Like, it's a lot of money spent just answering the rhinos. When, like, even after the shields and the rhinos got answered, he was still losing the fight just because he couldn't deal with the tower getting popped. Yeah, it's a different line. It's a different line. We can also start selling off Rhinos as he places Hackers in front of them, and Hackers pretty awful against the rest of our army. 